To find a Dyson sphere, we need a telescope that sees heat rather than light, infrared radiation. The problem is that this sort of radiation doesn't penetrate the Earth's atmosphere very well, and the Earth's atmosphere itself gives a lot of it off. So you have to go to space. Three, two, one. We have ignition. In 2009, the infrared detecting WISE telescope was launched. It's looked at everything from nearby asteroids to distant galaxies. But it could also spot Dyson spheres. They'd be stars emitting a lot of heat. Although finding them is not as easy as it sounds. It's actually very hard to definitively say it's a Dyson sphere, simply because we don't really know what that would look like in practice. Our best guess is it will look like a very red glowing region, but that's actually kind of what a brown dwarf, a failed star, looks like as well. It tends to glow in infrared. Well, a lot of stars have dust around them, and dust are emitting in the infrared. So is it a Dyson sphere, or is it a dust-enshrouded star? How are we going to tell the difference? It'll require extremely careful observations. We're looking for anomalously high levels of heat. So a star that doesn't seem to have any dust doesn't have any obvious sources of this mid-infrared radiation, but that nonetheless is glowing very brightly. 